episode of Five of Neverwood TV on Friday the 21st of October. I'm Bethany Mikkelfoyer. And I'm Danielle Skeef. And we're both Year 11 Prefects. In today's episode, we will be taking a look at what geography has been up to. We have a number of messages from the PE department, as well as the answer to last week's question. Also, we have some information on how you could get involved with the Christmas fair. Now let's go over to geography and see what they have been up to this week. We're here in geography because this week the BTEC Countryside and Environment course have been working with volunteers from the Bounds of Biodiversity team. We are now joined with Mrs Smith. Can you tell us what students have been doing this week? Yeah, I can. The students have been out. They were set some tasks to empty the bird boxes that had been put out there by Mr Oates. We went round all the bird boxes and measured the biodiversity in the bird boxes and then the students have come back into school, they now write up that as part of their BTEC controlled assessment work. You can now see on screen a few images of the students at work. OK, we're outside and here on the pitch because we have a number of announcements from PE. First we have an update from Mr Smith. The year 10 boys won the second round cup and tied against Essence Grammar. The final score was 3-1. The man of the match was Jake Sylvester for giving 100% on the pitch and scoring a screamer of an opening goal. Netherwood are now through to the third round. Now on to an update from Mr O'Loughlin's team. Year 8's unfortunately lost a very controversial game away at Darton. The final score was 6-5. The man of the match was given to Marcel Pluter who netted a hat-trick of goals. Other goal scorers were Lee Parkin and Findlay Smith. All boys played brilliantly. As for the Mr O'Loughlin took a mixture of both year 8 and 9 students to Barnsley Tournament at Sher Lane last week. We drew to Penniston 15-15, also drew to Kirkbald 25-25 and lost 5-0 to Horizon in the final play of a very close game. All boys did brilliantly and it was a big step up from the year 8 dual man of the match. That goes to Kai O'Loughlin and for outstanding tackling, Joe Micklethwaite for his 4 try scoring the competition. Now let's take a look at fixtures for after half term. You can now see on the screen the fixtures for after half term. Tuesday the 1st of November is football for year 7 and year 9 as Netherwood will play Carlton at home. Wednesday 2nd of November is a football match for year 10 playing at home against Kettlethorpe in the National Cup. Cricket club it starts and is open to boys and girls in all years 2.30 till half three in the sports hall leading up to both boys and girls competitions. And that's it for PE this week. This week, year 10 students visited Ambitions Barnsley and engaged in lots of interactive stores, promoting 16 and higher education opportunities. You can now see on screen some images from the event. We are now joined by three year 10 students, Jack, Ellie and Broder, who attended the event. Could you tell us a little bit about the event and what happened there? It was like um, it was called the marketplace, and you could go around different stalls about what about your future and availability for colleges and stuff like that. And there were also workshops that I attended, like the A level ones. Which was your favourite? The workshops or the interactive groups? Uh, probably the interactive bits. How do you think the event linked to your future and would help you for further reference? I visited um, loads of university stalls which helped you choose which where you want to go in life and what it's like in university. I went to air, beauty and nail stalls in the Banza College section and that helped me a lot because they told me about what I'd need in the future and like what I need to be a, to be a beauty therapist and so. Yeah. Did it make you feel more confident about going to college? Yeah, because they told me like everything that had happened and what it would be like and everything to do it. Okay, thank you for joining us. Now let's move on to general school news and reminders. Today is the day that we break up for half term. Don't forget that all students need to return to school on Tuesday the 1st of November due to Monday being an insect day. Now on to a notice from Miss Kellogg, the new cover supervisor. Miss Kellogg is starting a dance club for year 7 and 8 only. The club will run every Wednesday for 8 till 4 in DO15. The initial session will be on the first Wednesday back, so turn up if you're interested. Local businesses, we need your help. In December we are hosting our own Christmas fair. If you have something you could donate to our raffle, then we will be very grateful. Also, 
if you would like a stall at the Christmas Fair, then please get in touch with Mr Utley, who is organising the event. All details are currently at the bottom of the screen on how you can get in touch. All profits made from this event will be going towards our hospitality students putting on an afternoon tea at local care homes, so please try and support the event in any way you can. We would like to thank parents and businesses that have already donated. We appreciate your generosity. Now on to an announcement from Mrs Evans in ICT. Any Year 11s who still need to complete their ECDL are welcome to come any day after school just to practice for the test. Just go to Miss Evans, find it in the IT department on the top floor at 2.30. Now moving on to the attendance and punctuality winners from last week. Well done to last week's winner, Izzy Adder in Year 10, who wins the 100% attendance and takes home the £15 medal hall voucher. Congratulations. Congratulations to both of our punctuality winners also, Charlie Madden in Year 8 and Alex Gibbs in Year 11 for winning the punctuality award. We would like to thank everyone that came along to the Year 7 Settling Evening yesterday. We hope all the parents will come to the e Parents Evening later, later on in the year. Before we sign out this week, we have a few announcements that have just been brought to our attention. We have had a few more sporting announcements. Mr Smith has had a winning week with his teams. The Year 9 boys won their first match of the season against Shafton. The final score was 4-1. The man of the match goes to Lawrence Goodwin for outstanding defending. We have also had an update on the Year 8 netball team from Miss Thompson. You can see on screen that the girls were very happy with their win. They played at home against Shafton and won 8-4 with Lucianne McTaggart as the player of the match for her excellent shooting skills. Well done ladies, fantastic result. Now on to an additional sports information from Mr O'Loughlin. A mix of Year 7s and 8s played in a rugby festival at Charlene yesterday and won the tournament. They beat all three teams including Kirkbrook, Horizon and Barnsley Academy. Man of the match went to Maine Pierce in Year 7 and Benjamin Garthway in Year 8. All boys involved played excellently. Well done guys. Such an improvement on last week. Now on to last week's question. Ben and Nikki asked you the following. How many weeks is it until Christmas Day? The correct answer last Friday was 10 weeks. So that means it's only 9. Wow. Really? I better start my Christmas shopping. Yeah, me too. Anyway, let's move on to this week's question. According to the BBC, how many pumpkins were sold in the UK last year? A. 500,000, B. 1 million, or C. 5 million. Comment your answer down below. With it being Halloween on the insect day, we want to see all your spooky Halloween costumes. If you email in your pictures to news at netherwoodschool.co.uk, we will feature them in the next episode. Now, don't forget the next week we have not got an episode due to it being half turn, but do join us the following week at usual time. We will have information about the Future Chef final competition. As well as going behind the scenes and we have a little sneak peek of the pantomime rehearsals, ticket information will also be issued. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment your answers below. Have a safe and enjoyable half term and we will see you again in two weeks.